everyone who's taken the country music to see by storm over the past few months. And uh, he's a very, very bright future ahead of him indeed. We want you to welcome Ireland's newest singing sensation. This is Martin Cough and his band, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause.
but it was wonderment and a minute admiration at the wave of what he called Michael Mania that had taken hold of the town. That's it, well done. Hey, hey. Michael will love this. Give us another cheer. Hey, hey. some time ago, developed into, in days, from a little ripple into a veritable tidal wave. Now, by last week, enthusiasm had, in fact, reached such chaotic climax that fans and friends besieged the ticket outlets in search, in person and by phone, in search of the present passes to this paradise of pleasure that we all have enjoyed so much here tonight. And we, we, we let Michael know that very well, that we had a fabulous time. I'm here to speak for Michael, of course, for Anne, his wife, for his daughters, and for their extended families. First of all, I'd have to say thanks very much to the extended families who have come from long distances for this as a tribute to Michael. They've come from all over the north of Ireland. They've come from Riverstown and Dublin, from London and Cornwall even, from all oh, distant Cornwall. They're here tonight. We welcome you and the local, the local clan are very proud of you too. On behalf of Michael and Anne and the myriad of relations, local and long-distance travellers, uh, and especially, I have put in a little addition here, for the lady from Belique, who signalled her choice of dance by putting two fingers in the air, but facing the correct, polite way, she insisted. And she wanted this especially, well, she wants special wishes granted to, to, to Michael. Well, of course, where's the mic to hold on? I offer special thanks to the magnificent seven of the organizing committee, which was led from the front, front by General Joe McCann. Now, in deference to the wishes of the people concerned, I'm naming no other names, but we are well aware that the joyous Michael Mania that did not, did not happen by chance. Founded in admiration and fired by dedication, this powerful committee seemed to enjoy organizing this glorious gala night. We thank the magnificent musicians, one and all, for that splendid night of music. Splendid night of music. Every single item was an absolute treasure to hear, except one item by uh, Mr. Declan Nern. This item, this item gave me slight uh, convulsions of the heart and uh, reaching for somebody's cell phone. My sister Nancy up there at the age of 78 was dancing on a table. Well uh, hey! hey. Well now, I'll catch up to you, I'm only 73. Right. Many thanks to our legion of sponsors and helpers. And I recognize and I acknowledge here and now in public the magnificent support given by the owners of this beautiful hotel. May your bed lights increase tenfold over the coming months. Good news, this is the last page. Now, I must also now at this stage, I would like to single out the very kind and artistic gentleman called uh, Mr. John McMorrow, who is producing the video, uh, put it off here, John, uh, of this very special night. How Michael will forever treasure this wonderful souvenir of a night he missed out on. Thank you. But my friends, my friends, and you're dearer tonight than you ever were. 
When all is said and danced, it was you, the hundreds of fans and friends, who brought this magic of Michael Mania to such a joyous pitch here tonight. We thank you hundreds of times for us all, and for especially for dear old Michael, you have greatly lightened the burden of his prolonged illness, which unfortunately prevents him from entertaining you. Now, a gentleman from Cornwall told me a lovely story the other day. I, told him, I thought I told him a nice story that would edify him a bit, but he told me a nicer one of the man that was in the, in the uh, I would say, the, the dungeon of his house, whatever you call that, and the floods came and fellas came and in the boat and said, come on, come on, come on. And he said, no, no, I have prayed, I have prayed by night and by day. My God will save me. Then the water was in the next flat. The boat came higher and he came by and said, come on, come on, please, we can save you. And he said, no, I have prayed by night and by day and by morning. Finally, he was on the roof. And they said, come on, come on. Oh, he said, now I am nearer God, and I will surely be saved now by my prayer. And with that, the floods swept him away. We don't hear of him anymore until he was speaking to St. Peter inside the pearly gates. And he said, Peter, there's a lot of talk about the power of prayer, but here I am now, drowned, and I prayed by night, by day, by morning, and when I was drowning. And Peter said, Hey, that's very strange. He said, what a pity you didn't take the help from the kind gentleman we sent you in the boats all the time. Now, that story is very suitable here. It's, we, this committee did not wait for divine intervention to help Michael in his hour of need. And for that, we thank you very, very much and very sincerely. Good night, and may you all have the support of helping, great helping human hands and human hearts as long as you live. And enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brother Kevin. Thank you. Thank you. Now this night, ladies and gentlemen, has been the culmination of three months of hard work and we've been very fortunate to have a very hard-working and dedicated committee with us, ladies and gentlemen, on this. And I'd like to introduce you to the chairman of that committee tonight, ladies and gentlemen, from Joe McCann Promotions. Would you welcome Joe McCann, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Um, my words will be short and sweet. I'd just like to um, thank everybody for attending here tonight. I'm sure Michael will be very, very proud when he looks at the, the video and sees the crowd that turned out for him. And next, I would like to thank the band here. They put in a real long night at this stage. I'm sure they'd love to get home. But they've done a fantastic job. And without them, the night wouldn't have been the success it was. I would also like to thank, thank each and every artist who came on. Again, I thought they were fantastic and a lot of them came a long distance to be with us. Um, I would also just like to thank the rest of the committee that were along with me. Only for them, we wouldn't have succeeded. They were fantastic workers and anything that was ever asked of them was done. Again, I would also like to thank John James McMorrow up there. Very, very decent of him to come along, and again, he put in a long night. And um, just before I finish, I would also like just to give a special word to our MC for the night. I think he's done a fantastic job, and hopefully he'll continue. So, thank you very much indeed, everybody. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just a few more spot prizes to get out of the way, so if you want your tickets, ladies and gentlemen, just four more left. 268G76786. One more time, though, tonight. 
want to thank you all very much indeed for coming along tonight and making this night a huge success. And uh, we want you to remember Michael in your prayers. That's the most important thing. And hopefully it won't be too long before Michael's back in action again. So from everybody here, we want to thank the band, JJ for the videos. Everybody's been thanked already. So once again, I want to thank everybody. So from myself, Michael, let's get to all of you. Stay at home. God bless. We've sent you back to Martin Kaufman Band. Good night. God bless. Thanks, Jeff. We're going to do a little few old time waltzes this time for you. We're going to do a little song we had to sing a couple of weeks ago. The little song is called Gentle Mother. We like to see you all like that before.
Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please put your card in there, Mr. Martin? 